Lyle said one day he wanted to buy a strobe tuners. And at the time, the only way you could tune a guitar, you could tune to a piano to get the note, or you get a tuning fork. It's a little fork shaped piece of metal you would hit and it would give a perfect tone. And there were no cheap tuners back then that, you know, now you have the, the disposable practically. But Lyle wanted to buy this stroboscopic tuner. It's like a unit that would probably cost $180. I mean, something that was so insane that he wanted to buy. And I argued strongly against it because I was a cheapskate, but he went ahead and bought it. And as a result, we were in tune, unlike <laughs> any of the other bands. They were never in tune. But the Lyle and Brian, really, they had a premium on the idea of, of the stuff sounding good and right. I'm forever in their debt for that. The fact that we were in tune, that they really thought about the way songs were written, it was just them. That's just where they were coming from. And I, mean, I was a singer in the band, and I certainly brought something to the equation. But in terms of the music, they were players. And as I, over the years, when I occasionally will go study the band, and with my knowledge now, having been in bands for so many years and dealt with so many different bands, understanding that, you know, someone like Brian, who was 15 years old when he started, or Lyle, who was, you know, 16 or 17 when he started playing with us, their level of um, talent was pretty undeniable.